this is going to be a short, very specific kind of test, and things will look off-center to you, because there's other stuff that's going to be on that left side, I think. So, I'm not going to... No, that's not what I wanted, but... It can be easy to click over too far. Um, so, I'm not really explaining anything right now, because I'm just gonna test some stuff. Yes, I'm not even gonna go for the best stats I can. I just want to get into this. Ooh, we're starting with a good rice price, but... Doesn't mean I'm gonna be able to do a whole lot with it. Um, especially since I'm gonna be restarting. Um, what I'm gonna do... Getting a couple of screenshots. Now, other than his stats, the screen won't really change. Um, but I want that because a thing I do. And yeah, the, the defocusing. Or, uh, muting and essentially pausing everything. And this one I click away is your general cue that I have clicked away. But the reason is because I've kind of set this up so that it more accurately represents how I have things. Now obviously I've had to crop and resize some things, but I always have one of those screenshots, because there's a whole folder. Um, the emulator has a whole folder of screenshots, so I keep screenshots of like that page of info in particular off to the side, so that I don't have to keep looking at it when I'm like deciding who to do, have do what. Um, but also in the other section, and I still need to figure out a better way to do it, because I don't like how I've had to do it so far, especially because it's not... Yeah, I still need to crop and resize things more. Um, this the the way things sit and the easiest way to have this um, is to have a cropped display capture which is why when things sit on top of it it's a problem and why I had to adjust how I want to have it, because the screenshots will sit literally over what I want to capture, but a browser capture isn't the right thing, and I don't want to have to move these all to separate fucking text files so that I can have a different kind of capture to get them. But I do actually keep... Um, you know what? I'm gonna... going to change the transform on this for now. Or I'm going to close it entirely. I'm going to hide that for the moment. And you are actually higher priority. But how I normally have it is I have this off to the side because like I don't want to have to d 
do guesswork on this stuff if somebody shows up and I want to decide whether or not I want to keep him or kill him or he's better than any of my people so I don't have a chance of capturing him successfully. You know, I want to make informed decisions, so I have already done all the work. <laughs> Why not make use of it? <laughs> it took a lot of time to get all this work done. So yes, I keep the stuff off to the side. So while I'm playing, what I want to be able to do is show that this is what I'm looking up and this is what that information is. But I haven't found a good way to capture this part without having it be part of a display capture, meaning that other things end up sitting on top of what I want to show in ways that I don't want them to. So, but yeah, there's, so, um, but yeah, I don't necessarily need all of them open. This map, I mean, I don't remember the names of the fives, so having the map as a reminder of where they are and at least who starts with them isn't bad. I don't actually need this one because I don't ever start with I don't start in the Nobunaga's Ambition scenario, which is later on in the game, and you can see that Oda actually has a big old chunk of turf, which never happens. It never, ever happens. Every time I've played this game, he ends up dying, because... Oh, no, I need to... Because he starts here. He's got enemies all around him, and all the places he can move to from there also have lots of borders with lots of enemies. I start here. Um, there isn't a good way to make this bigger, because this is the size of the file. Um, we can turn down some of the recursion. Um, but I start here because one border. He's a mediocre Damia with mediocre samurai. But the I only have one border is a very tactically relevant deciding factor. I can get better samurai. I can't ever be a better daimyo, but that's less relevant once I start picking up good samurai, because Hojo has some decent ones, um, and he may acquire others um, before or while I'm running him over eventually. I have to build up to it. But, yeah. So, anyway, this is just a kind of a show of what I'm hoping to get done. You can hide the display now so I can stop hiding that, which takes a while to show back up. Um, so, the stuff that's going to be in that bottom left corner, I haven't figured out how to do it as well as I want, but that is my plan, I guess. So this is another test video, kind of talking my way through that, and there's at least one person out there who might even watch this who may have suggestions about how to make that work in a better way. So. That's it for now.